So it's a boring weekend stuck at home during a lockdown. It's actually our first lockdown during this whole pandemic. We've been very fortunate here, but it was bound to happen sooner or later. Anyway, given the fact that I'm stuck at home bored and haven't really uploaded any YouTube videos for quite a while, uh, I figured why not. Uh, got a couple of vehicles here that have uh, not run in quite a while and everyone loves a good cold start, old start video. Uh, Krieger over there. That hasn't actually run since I removed the dash and that video was nearly two years ago. So got that one to fire up and another one. So if I remember correctly, uh, all the electrical is still disconnected in this from when I uh, took the dash out. Yup. Uh, looks like I've got a bit of reconnecting to do. Oh hey, there was actually a car under all that rubbish. Who would have thought? Mmm. You're a biohazard, Harry. <laughs> Some nice mold happening here, but uh, ignition switch is actually still plugged in. That was how I got it inside, but this is all my speedo wiring. I just need oil and charge light connected. Yay! Just need to crank it up now and get a bit of oil pressure happening. Normally I have a nice little apparatus for adding fuel to the carby through the little vent tube there, but of course it's been so long I have no idea where it is, so I'm just going to have to delicately try and pour some down there to prime the carb first. Just added a little bit more prime. God, this carb doesn't like to idle. It's running on fast idle. Hasn't had a tune for about 15 years, so doing well, all things considered. So there's a Daniel uh, start up and cold start <laughs> till uh, next time I get back to it. Actually idling pretty happy, surprisingly. Car has got a terrible flat spot. I 
Okey doke. No warning lights. It's all good. Nothing like filling your house with the aroma of hot oily Volkswagen. <laughs> anyway, let me show you now what else I have to start. Uh, the YouTubers won't be familiar with this one. This is actually a very rare car in Australia. It's a Ford Laser TX3. Now, if you recognize this from over the pond, they're an Escort GT in uh, most other countries. And what's rare about this car is in this particular color combo and with power windows and various other options, there was less than, I think, 15 or 20 in Australia made. And we have the uh, letter from Ford uh, backing all that up. Anyway, it's been off the road since 2007 and the fuel in it is very old, at least 10 years old. So not sure if it's going to fire up. If it does fire up, it's probably going to be pretty cranky, but we'll see. So here's a quick look inside. Uh, it is a work in progress that we'll get to one day. Um, now, the original seat on the passenger side and you can see his cloth with the sporty red piping and such but something all the jdm fans will love is the uh, rest of the interior which is part fitted it is very rare this is a full jdm uh, import 323 orlantis leather uh, interior so it's got the back seat with the um, orange stitching and center console. The driver's seat is in and the passenger seat is still waiting there. So um, this car has uh, had a few tweaks from the early 2000 auto salon era, I guess. The surround is actually um, glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, not going to show up on this, but got uh, power windows. There's a very rare option along with the electric folding mirrors. And uh, this car's got 186,000 K on the clock. And, um, yeah... It'll uh, be treated to some love soon. So I just noticed something hiding under the seat. Just a relic from when this car was first put into storage back in 2007. I think I'd be horrified if I look at the prices of cars for sale back then. Looking at the Beamers, the old 635s. Only uh, 17 grand, and what else have we got? Yeah, Valiant Charger, <laughs> 13 grand, and a 14 for a Carmen gear that's now selling for 40 plus. This is depressing. <laughs> so, the engine in these are the Mazda BP 1.8. Double overhead cam, and uh, they're actually a pretty sprightly little thing for their day. Um, not terribly quick by today's standards, but back in the day it had, uh, was considered a hot little hatch. Anyway, I um, guess we'll find out if it's going to start. Contact. 
Yep, sadly I think that fuel's too stale. It smells absolutely terrible. Just give it a sniff of uh, aero start and see if anything happens. There we go. See our fuel pump is uh, not cooperating. So we're going to try this again with a brand new fuel pump. So I've just got the back seat base popped out and under the inspection plate there's our fuel pump. Just a couple of screws to remove from the tank and uh, electrical plug and those couple of hoses. Pretty simple. So not looking too good. You can see where the high tide mark was. All that white crystallized powder. No wonder it's not working. was one very sick fuel pump <laughs> just to show there is uh, merit to putting the fuel stabilizer in a car that's going to be sitting for a while so this car turns 30 um, in 2023 and will be uh, eligible for classic rego then so It'll be slowly fixed up and ready to hit the road again.